guys. In this video, I'm just going to be going over Carson Wentz tape of the, the last season, 2021. We're going to look at all his plays just to see what Washington is going to get and to uh, see why the Colts really got rid of him. But when you really look at it, he had no receivers to throw to. His best receiver was ranked 85th overall in the, the whole entire league, so you can't really do much with that. Now he's going to go to Washington and have some weapons. It's going to be exciting. But let's see this film. What's going on, guys? Yeah, we already know the NFL is fake. But what we got to understand is what's fake about it is the outcomes. It's not the hitting. Well, some of it's fake. But when they start hitting each other and other stuff, there are some things that are real about the game. But you got to understand the outcome, the final score, that is where the manipulation is. The referees, they manipulate coaches and sometimes quarterbacks. That's where you got to understand. Some, some of the players don't even know it, but a lot of them do. But without further ado, let's check out Carson Wentz and see how good he was with these terrible receivers. He had a good running back. Best running back in the league, but that's all he had. If you ask any quarterback in the league if they'd rather have good receivers and a bad running back or a great running back and not good receivers, they would choose the better receivers. And let's take a look here. Let's take a look at how good or bad Carson Wentz is. So right now, they're looking like they're sitting in a cover three zone. And right now, I don't see much open, but I guess this guy can do a double move here and get open here. Let's see it. And he does. He did exactly what I thought he can do. And let's look at the throw. Is that a bad throw? Or is that just a big time throw right there? So right now, the receiver runs a good rally, runs an out and up on a double move, so that puts the safety in a bind, takes a couple steps this way and gives him enough space. But look at Wentz though, look at how he stands in there. Nothing is open and creates this by himself. I don't care what anyone says, that is a big time throw. <laughs> like you, you can't just be anybody and just make that throw. That's a big time throw, small, small window. But uh, Carson Wentz is so bad, right? All right, here we go. We got a blitz on this side, so let's see him under pressure. They blitz everyone. That's not really what you want to do against him. This guy already has good leverage. This guy, nah. This guy hasn't even come off the line yet. 14 is open on the double move. He got him. 21's off balance. And then a beautiful throw. He literally just floated it perfectly to him. <clears throat> and he did like a nice touch pass. It wasn't a bullet. See, he has touch on his throws. He knows when to put zip on it. He knows when to take some off of it. He's a good quarterback. There's a lot of haters out here. That's the five-step drop. You got the back open. Well, that's the receiver and then the back right there. But he's trying to go for the home run. And man in his face. That's Aaron Donald in his face, guys. So, see, this is what you, you need a quarterback that's not scared to take risks. Like, I know he... Likes to play hero ball sometimes, but really he's trying to make a play and win the football game. You can't get mad at a player that's trying to win a game. Here we have Aaron Donald right in his face. Kind of pulled up. You saw Aaron Donald just pull up a little bit. And then this guy, the DBs don't even really try to play the ball. But it was a nice throw. But right there, this was a scripted play. You could tell Aaron Donald pulled up. And then these two DBs don't even play the ball. They just look at this guy. What is he doing? He could have gotten in front of that, but nonetheless, I'm not going to take anything from Carson. That was a good throw. Any The receiver, that was whatever. Any receiver could have done that. That was false start by the receiver. They didn't call it. it. Might be scripted. See, this is another thing he can do. He can take off. He's not scared to take off. He's a big guy. 6'5", 245. He's a big boy. Play action. This is where he's good play action. He's got guys open everywhere. Look at this. You guys are telling me this is a bad quarterback. He's gashing the Super Bowl champs. I know they're losing, but their team's just not as good. But, like, in moments, he gashes them. They're in a cover two. Very soft cover two. And he burns them. You don't really want to be playing cover two in the NFL. I'm not really big on that. Wide open. Well, not wide open. That's just... Let's look at that again. That was beautiful, guys. Pascal's his favorite receiver, and he's not even ranked in the top 100. Look at this. Runs a post. Pressure in his face. 
terrible coverage, but look at how he zips that in between everybody. How is that a bad quarterback? Imagine what he would do if he actually had good receivers. These guys are nobodies. He's making these guys look good. Like these guys aren't any anything special. Any quarterback they get next year, they're gonna be in the same predicament. Wide open. Well wide open. The Rams aren't even playing defense, it looks like. You watch this tape and you kinda of ask yourself, how do they even make the Super Bowl? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Play action, wide open, spins out of it. See, that's not any quarterback can do that. Like right now, he's basically dead to rights right here. But he has great pocket presence. Look at this. Spins out of there. Most quarterbacks would take a sack there. And then sets his feet, squares his shoulder, and sends a dime right to the sideline. That is a quarterback right there. Here we go. Wide open, wide open. He's got two guys. They're doing a high-low or low-high, however you want to say it. The corner is going to be open, but he went to the short guy. See, he can check down. That was the first check down that he's made the entire game, guys. You don't want a quarterback that just checks down. You know what I mean? So he takes risks, and then when he checks down, it ends up being a big play. Wide open, wide open. And wide open. Like, he's a good quarterback, guys. He's throwing the ball right by guys' faces. Like, I don't think people watch film. Like, yes, he makes some bad plays, but it's usually not even his fault. The bad plays that are made is usually because someone runs the wrong route. Someone doesn't block. Someone doesn't catch. See, but when they're executing, he looks very good. Like, when they execute, they look very, very good. This guy's not really pursuing. Whoa, that was a dot. That was a dot. He's making this man Pascal look like he's a good receiver, but Pascal is just something. He's nothing special. He runs like a 4-6. But guess what? You got a quarterback throwing passes like that? Did you see how he threw that high and only where his guy can get it? That's because he knows his players. He knows that that guy's capable of that. That's a big-time throw. Here we go. Whoa, look at how he put touch on that. He put touch on that because he knows his guy had a freaking one-on-one -on -one deal. It was probably scripted because the ref threw the flag. He gave him a jump ball opportunity. He knows his players. You need a quarterback that knows his guys. He knows that his tight end can jump up for that. And not any quarterback can do this either. The Colts took are going to take this guy for granted, man. Like, they take him for granted. Not any quarterback can do this right here. This isn't just something that any quarterback can do. You guys need to watch this. He should have been sacked a couple of times. But he's got some magic to him. Tom Brady couldn't even dream to do this right here. Look at this. One. Two. Three, he gets hit and makes the throw. Takes the poise, has the poise to take the hit. That's his number one receiver. He's ranked 80 something in the league, like 85th. So he's going to have Terry McLaurin next year. It's going to be crazy to see. So he can throw screen passes too. See, that's just a simple screen pass. He throws it so nicely that the running back can catch it and then take it upfield. A lot of quarterbacks don't have touch. On those screen passes. They either throw it too hard or they throw it too high. Play action. Wide open. Nice throw. Look at this guy jog. They have to though. When it's scripted, you got to let guys get open. Play action. Let's see it. He's hit while he threw that. He got hit while he threw it. And that's just a play. By his receiver just made a play. He got hit while he threw that one. Still gave his guy a chance. That that looked scripted to me. The, the cornerback never turned his head. He just face guarded him the whole time. Who is this number 81? He looks like a good tight end. 
throw it. Nice throw. Look at the touch on that. But 23 is just not really running, it feels like. And then he throws a moon ball. Look at that throw. That is a beautiful throw, guys. Bro, that is a beautiful throw. That deep ball is no joke. Look at that. Perfect throw. The guy doesn't even have to slow down. He's actually misreading that. That, that was a beautiful throw. To a nobody. We don't even know who that is. That's what I mean. Carson Wentz turns nobody receivers into quality guys. They're going to miss him next year. They don't realize what they have. Like, if I had Carson Wentz, he would never, ever go anywhere. <laughs> like, I don't care. I would just do my best to get him receivers. Look at this. Look at that, guys. That is such a beautiful pass. I don't think you guys understand how hard it is to make that type of throw right there. That is a big-time throw. Look at this. Poised, steps in, and he just launches it between two guys. Granted, but the DBs took terrible angles and probably could have played it better, but still, that throw was something else. That was a thing of beauty. But they ran him out of town. Washington, they know what they have out of him. <laughs> they used to play him twice a year. Look at that throw. He threw that on a whip. That was on a line. How, how many of you guys can make this type of throw? I'd love to know. I'll wait. I'll listen. But, yeah, right. Allows this guy to keep his feet in bounds and get in. Most guys would have threw him out of bounds. Steps in the pocket. Nice little moon ball. I like the way he throws it because he throws it from underneath and over. I like that. So on the deep balls, it's going to basically land in their lap. And then this is another thing he can do. He can keep it, and he's not scared to get hit. Washington, they got themselves a quarterback, man. This guy's a franchise quarterback, and he's only, like, 28. Like, I don't know what these guys are thinking. Look at this. He, he runs, he runs, he runs, and he doesn't care. He'll take the hit. He's big enough to take the hit. He's a competitor. The Colts, I don't know what they're thinking, as if it was his fault. Look at that. Look at that throw. And then Pittman made a nice play on that. That was a nice play on Pittman. Pittman made a nice play. But imagine if that was like a top receiver. Imagine if that was like Julio. Or he played with Alshon Jeffrey too. Imagine that was even Alshon Jeffrey in his heyday. That was a beautiful pass to the screen. That was a beautiful pass. It takes touch to make that type of throw. He's going to have a great year in Washington. I can already see it. He knows Philly, too. He's going to be wrecking that. He's going to love wrecking his old team. And that is what he's going to do, too. He's going to make Philly realize they made a mistake. Look at that throw. That was a sidearm throw with pressure in behind him. I don't think you guys understand how hard it is to make this play. Look at this. Pressure on him. Side shuffle. Side throw. Guy in his face, and he makes it in the back of the end zone. Whatever, dude. That was such a nice throw. Let's see it. Again, he's just fitting the balls in there. He's making Michael Pittman look good. This is all Carson Wentz. He's, except for like one or two plays, Michael Pittman is getting the ball handed to him. Look at that. He stays on his feet. He used the ball to stay up. And he got him. Michael Pittman, of course. Actually, Michael Pittman is not too bad. The more I watch him, I know he's ranked 85th. But the more I watch him, he looks pretty good. He's all right. He's not like a top guy, but he's okay. I'll, get, I, I'll give him some respect. That was just a little shovel pass. Still very difficult to do. People forget that he got his team to the Super Bowl. He just couldn't play because he was hurt. <laughs> but he's a Super Bowl champion. We all forget about that. He has won a Super Bowl. He was just hurt. Touchdown. What a throw! Do you guys understand how hard it is to make a throw like that? 
Like, and I know from your TV sets or from wherever device you're watching from, it looks like this is an easy throw to make. But look at this. This guy's draped on his back. And there's a linebacker waiting for the inside throw. So, like, that throw, I don't even understand how it got there. There's a guy on both sides, and he gets it in between them. I don't understand how. That's crazy to me. Nice across the field, across his body. <laughs> Yo, he can do it all. He literally can make every single throw. I've made I've watched him make every throw in pressure situations. Pressure in his face, he gets away. And he makes the play? Yes, he does. There are no quarterbacks that can make that play. Like, we take this guy for granted, man. This guy is, like, crazy. We take this guy for granted, man. Did you... S oh, my God, man. I don't, the people that say that Carson Wentz is bad, they don't watch his tape. They don't watch everything. They just see what they want to see. They hear... Let's rewind that. People see what they want to see, man. And most people... That talk about football, they hear it from other people, and then they talk about what they heard. So you really can't listen to a lot of people. That is crazy. He's just making every throw. Sorry about that interruption. This guy makes every throw. All right, so now play action, throwback. Yes, he's going to have a great year in Washington. He's so plain to see. He just understands the game. He understands where the ball needs to go. He understands where what he needs to do. The reason they didn't make the playoffs, it wasn't because of him. There were there are many reasons why they didn't make the playoffs. And it's not because of Carson Wentz. Don't forget they had Phillip Rivers there, and he couldn't even get them to the playoffs. So Carson Wentz comes there and they just miss the playoffs, just miss it, and you want to blame him? That's crazy to me. That's absolutely absurd. Literally, if you had any other quarterback on this team, you probably don't even win as many games as you do. I think that the Colts are going to be terrible next year. I really don't think they're going to be anything special. You have a guy like this and you can just get rid of him. Look at this. Look at this throw. This is not just a throw that anybody can make. But you guys just trade him for a bag of chips. All right. He's going to make you pay for that. I hope those teams play each other. I really do. And he goes off on them every time. We're going to see him against Philly twice a year. That's going to be great. Look at that throw. Just everything's on a line. Against the reigning champs. He understands the game, guys. He understands zones. He understands uh, progressions and where the ball needs to go. And he loves the game. You can tell. Let's see it. He's taking off. See, that's something that a lot of quarterbacks can't do, just take off. That is such a weapon for them. And that's why Ron Rivera wants him. That's ba This is basically like a mini baby Cam Newton. But a better thrower of the football, I'd say. Like, Cam could only wish to throw the ball like this. <laughs> he could never throw the ball like this. <laughs> Look at this. He throws the ball, like, on a line. It's on a rope every time. It's literally on a rope every time. Look at that. And he didn't even have T.Y. Hilton for, like, two-thirds of the year. He only played with T.Y. Hilton for, like, four games. Because that man can't stay healthy. Imagine if he had T.Y. Hilton all year. If T.Y. Hilton could stay healthy, they would have definitely done better. But T.Y. cannot stay healthy. And he's always been that way. Since Andrew Luck, he's never been able to stay on the field for the whole year. That's what happens when you draft small guys. He's only, what, 5'9"? 
170. Guys like that are going to get hurt. They're small. Nice throw again. Let's look at him on the goal line. Play action. Look at that dot. Look at that dot with touch. He puts touch on it so this guy can get his feet in the... Oh, my God. Most guys would throw a laser and then the guy can't get his feet in. Nice block by the running back. Beautiful throw. Oh, my gosh. That, that throw was just insane. I don't think anybody understands how hard of a throw. The difficulty of this throw... Let's look at how he did this, though. Like, the difficulty is just crazy. That might have gone a little too far. All right, let's see this again. Um, that This throw is just crazy. Oh, right here. I don't even understand how he makes that throw. Nice block. Steps in. Doesn't even set his feet properly. And look at that. His feet weren't even set properly. And he gets it in between four guys on a 30-yard pass. That's not an easy thing to do. Like His confidence is on a trillion right now. To make a throw like that, you have to be so confident. Wide open. Got him. See, he's, he's the real deal. The Colts are making a mistake right now, guys. You can really see it right now. Like, he was not the problem. Right now, all I'm seeing is a quarterback throwing to a bunch of guys. I haven't seen any guy that looks incredible on tape. Michael Pittman's made, like, two or three great plays. But other than that, everyone just looks like Joe Schmoes. There's no one that's jumping off the screen like, oh, my God, he's a superstar. He's throwing to a bunch of guys that are just running routes. See, like Michael Pittman, most guys would have tried to run further. He goes out of bounds. There's no flash to him. There's no flair. There's no excitement. Even this, that should have been a touchdown, but they don't have it. that guy that can just get to the end zone. They just don't. And that's the Colts' problem. It's not They don't have a QB problem. Well, they do now because they got rid of them. Their problem wasn't a QB problem. They had a wide receiver stretching the field problem because they could run the ball. They sometimes could play defense. But they had no explosive guys. Look at look at all these guys running routes. They can't even get downfield. But somehow, with his arm, he's able to get the ball to these guys. I remember that play. That's a fluke play. I'll be the first to say that. That was a fluke, fluke play. And then this is the game that everyone judged him on. And, like, that's all they can show from that game. That shows you how bad of a game it was. But all in all, I think we can see that Carson Wentz is a very good quarterback. And he's going to have a great career in Washington. We're going to see this together.